In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a coin to create a Bitcoin address that you can have uh, funds deposited to. Um, we're going to be flipping this coin 256 times, recording the result in either uh, in binary, so a one or a zero. Um, we're going to do two, yeah, 256 flips of the coin, and then we will convert that number uh, into hexadecimal, and then we'll convert that hexadecimal into a Bitcoin uh, private key, and then we'll convert that private key into a Bitcoin address, or actually the, that'll all happen in one step. Uh, we'll be using bitaddress.org and the website mathisfun.com for the conversions. Uh, both those can be downloaded and ran offline if you're um, worried about maybe someone monitoring or recording the, the values that you um, flip. Um, so this is a pretty good way to create a nice random number. Um, uh, as always, just make sure you understand what you're doing. Don't trust large amounts of money uh, to the Bitcoin network if you're not uh, familiar with it or you don't know how to secure it properly. Um, check out some of my other videos too where I show you how to do the same thing. Create an address rolling just a, a regular six-sided dice or also using a 16-sided die. Uh, you can also create a random number. Um, doing those so check those out but we'll go ahead and get started here so I'm gonna treat the uh, heads I'm just using a, a US quarter the heads will be treated as one the tails will be treated as zero and actually to speed things up I'm gonna be doing four at a time um, so I just basically have to do uh, haven't even done the math yet I've got to do uh, 256 divided by four so I'm going to be shaking 64 times all right, so I'll shake 64 times of these. Uh, I'll just kind of put my hands like this. So I've got a heads, tails, and I'm going from left to right to kind of make it as unbiased as possible. Uh, heads, tails, heads, heads. So that will be a one, zero, one, one. Is that what I said? Yeah, I'm just gonna make a little key down here. Heads equal um, one, tails equal zero. That way I keep it uniform throughout the whole thing. And I shake again. We've got uh, heads, tails, tails, tails. So heads is one, tails is zero. And I think I'm gonna do, uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll do like 16. I have to kind of think of a way to, to manage these numbers. So I've got uh, tails, heads, tails, tails. So we'll go zero, one, zero, zero. And I'll do one more shake, a roll or whatever you wanna call it. And I've got uh, all heads, all right, cool. So one, 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 one. All right, so I have 16 in this uh, row, so I'll hit the return key, and I'll just do another one. So with that 16, I'm going to have to have, like, a whole bunch. I guess I can figure that out, too. 64, uh, what did I say? 256 divided by 16. So I'm going to need to do 16 rows. 16 by 16, there we go. We get 256. So I'll speed up the video now, just so you don't see me rolling all these. Okay, so now we have 256 ones and zeros um, all together in a random um, order that's uh, a completely large random number. And what we're going to do, we need to convert this into hexadecimal. Um, there's some calculators online, but a lot of them don't... Uh, it's hard to find one that actually will convert a number this large. So we're going to break it up into 64-bit chunks. So that means every four rows... Uh, in the way that I have it, um, or every 64 um, numbers is going to be uh, its own kind of block. And then if we go to, uh, I have to use uh, Internet Explorer, I really apologize about this. Um, everything else blocks the flash on it. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and copy, uh, select and right click and go to copy and paste the binary here. Uh, and then that will tell me the uh, hexadecimal. So I'll copy the hexadecimal here, I'll go copy. And I'll just paste it kind of below everything else here. And um, so we'll copy this next block, right click, copy, and we'll paste it in here. And uh, copy, get the third block of 64 bits. We'll copy, paste. And put it over here. And now the final block. Copy. Paste. 
And there you have it. So now we've got a hexadecimal number, which is what we would get if we were rolling the 16-sided dice. Um, we'll just make this one big long hexadecimal number. So this number is equal to uh, this number up here. It's just this one is in binary, this one is in hexadecimal. So we'll copy it, and then we'll open up, uh, let's go to a website called bitaddress.org. And this is a site that uh, it's like a wallet generator. You can actually download the source code and run this uh, just locally on your computer if you'd like. Um, and But we're going to click on wallet details here. We don't need it to create a number for us, which is what it's doing with all these green dots. Uh, instead, we're just going to right click in this field here and paste uh, this random number that we've generated from our coin flips. And we'll click view details. And now here are the details of this uh, newly created address. So if we highlight this, uh, we can actually search uh, this. If we go to blockchain.info, and we can see the history for this address, which uh, statistically is going to be no history at all. <laughs> Very statistically, I mean... Uh, Basically, this run, this number is so huge and so random that uh, we're the only ones that know this private key, this password. And so here's the the converted version, the wallet import format uh, version of this private key. This is the this is kind of the key you want to keep uh, private and secure. But also this random number that we generated, because that's how we came up with this key in the first place. We can print this for our records. Um, and then you have a nice random address. You can share the address with other people. Uh, the public address is, uh, is very public. Just make sure that you keep this private uh, key and the private number that you've generated uh, secret uh, to, pr to pr uh, protect your funds. Uh, again, uh, this is sort of more of a, a fun way to, to learn a little bit about more about Bitcoin addresses and how uh, Bitcoin works. Um, I wouldn't trust large amounts of money to it. Um, there's an argument to be made for statistical analysis of coin flips um, and some bias towards if you're rolling a dice or flipping a coin, uh, possibly people can uh, kind of reverse engineer that and figure out uh, a good estimate of what your private key is going to be. So keep that in mind. I appreciate you watching this video. Check out some of my other ones, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.